Welcome back to the Craft Castle. My name is Ashley and I am back with a very quick and easy Cricut tutorial. This right here is going to take your coloring pages that you can find anywhere online. We're going to be doing the bluey theme today. We're going to turn our coloring pages into layered SVG files within Cricut Design Space. So we went from that to this with all of these layers that you're gonna be able to cut on your Cricut. So all of this is going to be a cuttable file. Are you ready to learn how to do this? Let's go. Okay, so the very first thing you want to do is search up bluey coloring page. Now I'm going to pause here because the beauty of this video is that although I'm going to be doing bluey because bluey is a very popular cartoon and character right now, you can do this for anything. So if you're trying to do a little mermaid one, Paw Patrol does not matter. You would put in little mermaid coloring page, Paw Patrol coloring page, Transformers coloring page. It does not matter what you're looking for. As long as it has a coloring page, you can watch this video and follow along with me. At this point in time, you just want to find the coloring page that you want to use. So I'm going to change things up. The original one that I showed you was a different coloring page, but I am going to just show you how simple and easy it is just to do a different image. So I'm going to do a bluey Christmas. This is gonna be cute. When I have the coloring page that I want to use, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go over to open image and new tab. A new tab will pop up. You wanna click on that. At this point in time, you're gonna to wanna to take a screenshot. Now, there are like extra, like this ornament and the snowflakes. I don't necessarily want that, but when I take a screenshot, it's gonna take a box, that's fine. I'll be able to get rid of the ornaments and the snowflakes here in a second. But you wanna take a screenshot and on the max, it's command shift four. On the max, you get this like little aimbot and you want to draw a box around your, whatever it is that you're trying to create. And you don't want it to be like gigantic. You don't need a screenshot of your entire screen. You really only just want to focus on what it is that you are trying to create. So we're going to try and create Bluey and the Santa Claus. You can see that it's kind of, you know, over here to the left. That's okay. I'm going to hug it pretty close over here. We're good. I like that. Just let go. Okay. Going into Cricut Design Space, you want to go into Upload and then Upload Image. Then what you want to do is taking that screenshot, you just want to drag and drop it into Cricut Design Space. We are going to go into Complex and then press Continue. Very first thing I want to do, because I have extra stuff in this that I do not want, I am just gonna come over here into the Erase tool, and I'm gonna make this my eraser bigger, and I am just going to erase the stuff I don't want. So I don't want that, that snowflake or that one, this ornament or this. I'm just gonna get rid of all that. That was like the easiest way to do things. Okay, when you're done doing that, all you wanna do is press this button right here and it's gonna remove the background for you. This is what you're gonna be left with, a bluey that is very checkered everywhere. That is okay, take a deep breath, we did everything correct. Okay, then what you want to do is just press apply and continue. We want this to be a cut image because we are making this a cuttable SVG file. You can rename this if you want and then just press upload. You want to find the file that we just uploaded, which is the Santa Bluey, and press Add to Canvas. Okay, so I'm going to move my original Bluey down because I don't need him right now, and this is the Bluey that we're going to work with. I am just going to make him large and in charge so we can see what we're doing. What you want to do is keep your original coloring page always to the left, and then what you want to do is copy and paste that coloring page, so then you'll have two. The very first thing we want to do is create the very backer of our SVG file. So I'm gonna create it to be black. So clicking on that copied Santa Bluey, I'm gonna come down here into contour and press hide all contours, and then click out of that. This is what our Bluey is looking like, and this is going to be the very back black piece when we go to assemble this. Okay, clicking on our coloring page, we are gonna copy and paste, and we are gonna drag this over here. So what you are trying to do now is isolate the colors of Bluey. So clicking on the coloring page that's that we've copied and pasted, I'm gonna come down here into contour. I'm gonna hide all contours, everything but the very 
back piece is going to be unchecked, that's okay. Now, looking at the other picture that I have, Bluey has dark blue in him. So I'm gonna start with the dark blue. I'm gonna come over here to this picture and I'm going to click on the pieces that are going to be dark blue in Bluey, which is his face and his dots and the base of his tail. Okay, when I have that done, then I'm gonna come up here and I'm just gonna click the very back black piece and I'm just going to click it so it goes away. And then we're gonna click out of that contour box. Okay, that is what the navy blue is going to look like. Now it's set to black, so then what we wanna do is come over here to black and we wanna change this over to navy blue. Now I'm gonna drag this over and put it on top of my black back piece. Okay, moving on to the next color, we're gonna go back over into our original color page and copy and paste. Drag this over so you can see what you're doing. Then you wanna go into contour and press hide all contours. So the next color that we're going to do is going to be that like, it's not the very light blue, but it's not the navy blue, that's the blue that's in the middle of that. We are going to select the blue colors of Bluey, which is going to be his main body and this portion of his tail, the top portion of his legs, and this portion of his arm. Okay, when you have that done, then you wanna click the very back piece, that large piece, and then just click out of that box. This right here is going to be black. We wanna change it to that middle blue color. So we're gonna click over here on this swatch and we're gonna just change it over to the blue and drag this over into place. Now let's move on to the next color. Selecting our original color page of Bluey, we're gonna copy and paste and drag it over. Go into contour, hide all contours. And this time let's do the very light portion of Bluey. So it's gonna be eyebrows, his hand, and the bottoms of his feet. Then what you wanna do is click the very large portion and then click out of that. Okay, this one right here is going to be changed to a light blue, so you wanna come up here to the swatch and click the light blue and move this over. Now we gotta move on to the next color, so we're gonna select the original coloring page, copy and paste, drag it over, go into contour, hide all contours, and let's do his nose, which is going to be a light, that like tannish color. That's the only thing that's on this particular screenshot that needs to be that tan color, so then I'm just gonna click the very back piece Click out of that, and I'm gonna change this over into the tan color and drag it into place. Now selecting the original color page, we're gonna copy and paste, drag this over, and actually I did notice that I missed his belly portion. His belly portion needs to be light blue. So going back over into the what our layered SVG file is, because I already have the light blue, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on the light blue color that we've already have. I'm gonna come back in, in here to contour and I'm gonna select that light blue. And do you see how it popped up right in the back portion of my screen? Perfect, then click out of that. So now I've now included that light blue portion. Okay, going back over into that copy and pasted stuff, I'm gonna work on the white. So I'm going to press contour, hide all contours. We're gonna do the white. And Santa's hat is, this portion right here is white, the ball in the brim of the hat. And then we have his, his eyeballs. Got that done, we're just going to click on the back piece, the biggest piece, and then click out of that. Now what you wanna do is change this to white. So we're gonna go over here into the black box, change it to white, drag it into place. And I forgot his smile, his smile is white. So now that we have it into place, all you wanna do is press contour and we want to click his smile and then click out, and there is his teeth. Going back over into our original color page, I do think we need two more colors, so we're gonna copy and paste, drag this over, and I just need the red of the, his Santa hat, so we're gonna go into contour, hide all contours, selecting the top of the Santa hat, then coming over here and selecting that big piece, and we're gonna click out of that. This right here, we are gonna turn to red, and drag it into place. Okay, and this is definitely an optional thing, but I do see that Bluey has a little dark charcoal piece here. So I'm gonna select my coloring page, copy and paste again for hopefully the last time. And then we're gonna go to contour. Then what we want to do is press hide all contours, selecting just the little piece of his nose, 
And then we're gonna select the very big piece and click out of it. This one right here, I'm gonna turn into a dark charcoal gray color, and then I'm gonna drag it into place. Now at this point, you can go ahead and look at what we have here for apples to apples comparisons. Does everything on the left, do we have all the pieces that we need for the left to the right? Is all the colors looking good? I think this looks fabulous. When you do that, then all you wanna do is just select your original color page that you imported and we can delete it. You technically don't even need that anymore. So then this is my original Bluey that we have right here, and this is the new Santa one. To resize this, because right now it's kind of really large, what you wanna do is select everything and right click and press group, and then you can resize this any size that you want. You wanna make sure that all your pieces when you resize them are, are selected all together so you don't have any missed piece pieces. Then all you wanna do if you wanna cut this out is just press make. And now we have a layered SVG file that you created using a coloring page. Wasn't that so stinking easy? All right, y'all, I sure hope I inspired you to create and I'll see you later.